Morning guys, um, is a quick tutorial on how to make your own brushes in Procreate. Um, so what you want to do is open a new canvas, you want to go to the square one and first thing to do is fill the square so it is entirely black. Next thing I do, get a new layer up, um, I want to be using the airbrush here, the hard one and uh, change it to red so if you come over here into the canvas option and then drawing guide edit that drawing guide and you want to come down here to the symmetry options um so you want to check the quadrant one i think for this so yeah we're in the right one when you draw a line it'll look like that so just hold it down and then make a straight line on either side. So that'll be the left and right of part of your brush and that'll be where it meets up to the next one. So you wanna come back down onto your first layer then you wanna change the canvas drawing guide because you don't need two different symmetries anymore, you just need the one. So if we go back to vertical, let's do it so we can see that. Vertical symmetry and click done. Okay, so you want to change this to white. For some reason, you have to draw white on black. You can't just draw black onto white. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, the first thing that I do, um, I just do a... Hang on, so let's just get that drawing assist on. First thing I do, do a straight line across there, hold it, and then another one at the top. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but this is just for the tutorial. Um, then the next thing I'll do, just something like that, nice and simple. Maybe something else inside there. Something like that, and then something like that, I don't know. Let me just get rid of this little bit up there, because that's annoying me. Okay, so what you want to do next is go down to your rectangle selection tool now this is where these red lines come into play you wanna make a rectangle on the red lines and cut and paste that bit and then we can get rid of the background get rid of the red lines as well and then you wanna just drag the black back into both sides so now this is what makes your pattern brush so you want to save this, go to share, I'm just going to share it as a PNG and save. So then I'll stay on this page just to make it easier. Get up a new layer. So if we open the brushes, you can press plus, 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 plus. Uh, you can press plus, make a new brush. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to shape and then edit. You want to go to import and import a photo so you want to import basically what we've just drawn so that is the brush as it stands the first thing that i do is i go to the stroke path to spacing i put this to about 50 just so you can kind of see what's going on properly um and press ok on that Ooh, let's go back into it a second um taper you want to change this because you can see that then whatever you do it won't be blurred at the beginning it won't get smaller it'll just stay the same size um, shape you don't really want to touch any of this at the moment rendering I always change that down to intense blending um, wet mix color dynamics I've not really played with much of these so I'm not really sure what they do a lot of them Apple Pencil, you want to change the opacity down to zero so it makes the whole thing the same. It doesn't have like a trail off at the end or anything like that. Um, properties, I always leave Orient to Screen on. Uh, that way, whatever way you have the screen, it draws it so you can see it. Um, it's because I've got a straight line at the bottom that I need it that way, but if we're doing something that's like, say, beads or something, you can have that off and it'll go anywhere. Um, maximum size, I always change it up to about 300. So it's annoying if you're trying to draw something with a brush and the brush doesn't actually go big enough. Okay, so I've got the brush there. And then 
pull it across and hold it. And then you can drag it out, so it's about right. Make a smaller one. And then drag it out, so if you need to change it, the spacing is probably the first thing that you should change. Make that a little bit wider. So then when you draw a line, it's a bit more evenly spaced and you don't have to move it around too much. Uh, if you do it downwards, it looks like that. But what I'm saying is if you turn the canvas, you go like this, it always draws it. So it's facing you whichever way you have the, the canvas. Um, that's about it for this tutorial. It's a very straightforward way of doing it. I'm going to play around with a few more this week and try and figure out some new bits. So let me know if there's anything you want to see or anything else that um, I, you could, I could change or make better or any criticism is, is well appreciated and well received. So thanks guys. Have a good day.